What's going on guys, Rangerette here. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I've got a great video today. I'm gonna to be unboxing the brand new Jag Precision, Jag Arms, Terran Tactical Sand Viper. Um, this just came out uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, let me see if you can see this. Here's the end here, Terran Tactical, Jag Precision, Sand Viper. It's not focusing, sorry about that. But anyway, that's the only thing on the box besides some warning labels. The bottom has nothing else on it. It comes in a really nice gloss, a glossy box. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the glossy box is that if there gets any scuffs on it, now it's like super bad and no noticeable and it's kind of, for me, I'm a real stickler for that kind of stuff, so it gets frustrating. Um, so let's go ahead and open this. Um, it's got a little tab here on the bottom. Um, we open this up, oh wow. So the first thing we see here, we get the instruction manual, um, but this is the old Combat Master that they used to have. Uh, they still sell it, I believe, but this is the one from John Wick 3. Um, teaches you how to use your magazines and whatnot. Uh, and the cool thing is it does show you an exploded parts diagram, which I think is really cool. Set that to the side. So when you first open the box, you'll see the actual TTI um, Sand Viper here. You'll get one magazine with the um, Terran Tactical logo etched onto the um, rose gold or copper finish um, on the base plate here, which is really cool because it, it the, the actual real Sand Viper, if you've seen videos of it online, it's more of a it's more of a copper, rose gold, um, two-tone, if you would say that. It's like half, it's like half gloss, half uh, or polished metal, and then it's uh, just painted um, to match, to be a flat color. This one, it appears uh, to be all one type. There's no, on the serrations, it's all just one color coating, as you can see here. This actually has a great feeling in my hand. So <clears throat> this is the only thing in the box. You get the manual, you get one magazine, and then you get the actual um, Sand Viper itself. Um, I have uh, the Combat Master here as well, because I'm gonna just compare and contrast these. So this is actually really cool. It's got the etched Sand Viper logo, the Terran Tactical logo right there. You also have the stamped uh, ter Terran logo right into the frame of the uh, rail section. You have a serial number right there. Uh, it's kind of hard to see right there. Yeah. Uh, and then actually in the magazine release itself, let's see if you can see that at all. There's actually the Terran tactical logo right inside the magazine release. That's really cool. And then on the rear of the um, of the Magwell, there actually is the uh, Terran Tactical logo right there. For some reason, it's not focusing, there you go. This has actually been etched into the, um, or laser engraved into the the, uh, the Cerakote or painted finish as well. Um, mine does not have an orange tip on it. When it does arrive at your place uh, or your house, it will come with a federally mandated orange tip as seen in the photo here. Uh, you do have an, an 11 millimeter, uh, I don't, I'm sure it's 11 millimeter negative, um, threaded sec section on the compensator, which you can actually put a, um, uh, a thread adapter on there and then actually have a full size tracer unit. It looks kind of funny if you ask me, <laughs> because you've got this cool angle on the actual compensator itself and, um, and it matches right into the frame of the gun. Um, very nice. Uh, the stippling on the grip, I thought this was sandpaper at first, but this is hand stippled. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it actually is all hand stippled and it comes from the factory like that. And it's actually also on the base of the trigger um, guard. You have a, a um, textured trigger guard as well. Um, on the bottom side of the rail, while we're looking at the underneath, you do see Terran Tactical Innovations model, the Sand Viper, Simi Valley, California which is really cool because they're really local to me. <clears throat> so you do have a optic mount on the back. If you notice, the Sand Viper does not have any sort of sights on it. So you do, um, you do have to purchase your own. This is just a cheap, uh, cheap one off Amazon that I got right here. 
It's a RMR red dot sight. Um, I did have to buy different sized screws. Um, I have not installed it on here yet. Uh, I went to Home Depot, had to buy uh, screws. If you want to know the screw size for these, it's um, three millimeter, or it's an M3, because it's metric, so it's an M3 by 0 0.5 screw. Um, and I think you need to get times 18 millimeters, so you get the perfect height. Otherwise, it won't sit in the plate correctly. And basically, that'll sit right on top here. I will do that for you guys in a moment and show you what it looks like. I'll set that to the side. Uh, let me set this whole thing to the side, the whole box, and then I can kind of talk to you guys about what else um, is cool about this. So the cool thing I like about this is that it does have a, um, a extended trigger or a magazine release right here. Uh, the cool thing about the Jag Arms is that it does not get in the way of your holster. So what I do for all my all of my handguns, all of my pistols, um, even on my um, SIG right here, and then I have my Novrich, S Novrich SSP-18, probably one of my, my go-to guns for the most part, but I think Sand Viper is going to be my new main uh, handgun. Um, I do put a pistol light on the the bottom section of the rail, and I use an Omnivore Blackhawk holster. Uh, that basically works for all guns, as long as you have a TLR-1 uh, flashlight, this guy right here, uh, TLR-1HL. Uh, it's just a basic white, uh, bright white flashlight. It's at 1100 lumens, uh, and it uses those one, two, three batteries. Those are little, little stick batteries. Um, so I use that for my holster. It does not get in the way. Um, for an example, for what I what I mean by that is the actual. This is the Combat Master frame. I actually currently have my Combat Master completely taken apart right now because uh, I'm rebuilding it right now. I'm putting different a new nozzle in it, new loading nozzle, uh, a new uh, BBU, and a new spring section. And I'm also going to be changing the hop-up unit as well because the stock hop-up unit, it only allows for so much hop. Uh, so I'm going to change it to the maple leaf wheel. Um, but anyway, oh, geez. I bumped the whole camera there. Um, see, you can see the difference in the um, magazine releases right there. The Jag Arms has a much smaller profile, so you don't accidentally bump the, um, the magazine release while you're out there playing. Um, another cool thing is the Sand Viper is actually a, um, a standard, it's actually like a 4.5. The main slide is a 4.5. Very cool. So the main, the, the compensator does not go back with the actual slide itself. The compensator stays fixed to the outer barrel. As you can see here, it's they're welded together or glued. I'm not sure how they're connected. Um, maybe it's just screwed on there and, and you can change it out later. I'm not sure. I haven't really taken this apart uh, because I don't really want to right now. Uh, this thing is so snappy. I will do a shooting example right here in a moment. Um, but the actual Combat Master um, slide will fit on this frame if you want to use the rose gold frame, which is really, really cool. I think that's a great, um, a great addition to the, um, this whole style. This is just a standard, uh, five, four slide uh, or a standard five, four frame. Uh, I don't know if you can use any other, um, uh, outer barrels on this because the compensator is fixed to the outer barrel. So I'm not sure if you can actually change this out, but that's something I can experiment with later. Um, next, I will go over the um, magazine uh, compatibility. So this is the magazine it came from, came with. Um, this is a Jag Arms, um, uh, Jag Arms High Kappa mag. Very snappy. Barely any recoil. You could see it right there. There's no recoil. I'm not holding anything. It just it, it actually functions like a like a really expensive you know thousand dollar high kappa, which is really cool. And base price uh, for two hundred dollars from G Airsoft GI, this is totally worth it. Um, here is the EMG um, uh, Terran Tactical magazine that came with my Combat Master. You can see the STI logo right there on the base plate. This magazine, it 
it stays in, but when you push the magazine release, it doesn't slide out. It's too stiff in there. It's a little bit too big for the magwell, which is kind of weird that they actually did not use a standard magwell. Uh, let's go over. This is a stand. This is a. Uh, this is just a regular um, uh, WeTech magazine, right there. Um, you have the same problem here. You have to like pull it out. Here's an AW Customs magazine. Um, this is pretty old. I've had this for probably six years or so. So you can put that in there. That comes out no problem. The Jag Arms and the um, AW Customs are almost the same in specs from what I've from what I've researched. And then here is also um, uh, this is a, um, a Tap Airsoft uh, uh, M4 magazine adapter. This also does not come out correctly. So you do unfortunately have to use, if you want maximum precision or not precision, but you want maximum quality and compatibility with this, you would have to either go with an AW Customs or the, um, the JAG High Kappa magazines. Um, it will take the WE, the WE, and it will take uh, the, um, all, it'll take Tokyo Marui as well. Tokyo Marui actually falls out just like the AW Customs does. It's, it's a smaller pro, uh, profile as well. The only place I've been able to find the matching uh, base plates with these, with this uh, specific logo and uh, color type is from JK Army. So Air, um, Airsoft GI does not sell spare magazines that go with this. Uh, you, do, you will have to purchase those if you want the same base plate from uh, jkarmy.com. Um, not sponsored, just, I'm just letting you guys know I've done a lot of research on that. <clears throat> So if you want to know, the cool thing is, um, this is the red dot I got. This is from Amazon. It's about 40 bucks for the RMR, um, and it comes with multiple platforms. So if you want to put it on a, different, on a Glock, it comes with a different um, base plate for that as well. So let me put this site on it, and I will be right back. Okay, so I did just attach the red dot uh, RMR to the rear of the uh, slide here. Uh, I used, like I said, those. I had to buy special Home Depot screws because um, the actual um, pistol does not come with any sort of screws for the RMR, so you have to provide your own. And the RMR that I had did not come with screws that were compatible with the base plate, so I had to buy specific screws. If you're looking for the screws, it's an M3 uh, by uh, 0 0.5 millimeter. So that's the size that you would need if you uh, do go with this option. Uh, there are no backup sites, as you can see. The RMR goes almost to the back of the high kappa um, slide itself, and uh, this thing just this thing just goes. So here's a um, perfect example of that. There you go, and um, yeah, I mean it looks great. I don't know if you can see the red dot in there. It's got a great line of sight. I have not sighted this in yet because this is all brand new. Um, I will be doing a full uh, review of this and I will be making another video of my thoughts after using it during gameplay. Um, I am gonna be most likely uh, posting that video sometime this month. I'm not sure yet. I haven't had much time to go out and, and, um, and play. Um, I'm trying to put this, this light on so you guys can see what it looks like with a light on if you guys play with lights. Um, it's not it's not mandatory, but it's just a cool extra that I like. Um, I don't always like playing with a with a tracer because I don't like to always show people where I'm at. So this is what the whole gun looks like put together. Uh, it is not a light gun. I will give you that right away. So then when when you put the magazine in it, you've got the sight on it and you've got a light on it. It's not the lightest handgun on the market. I can tell you that right now, right, right from just holding it here. Um, the Combat Master um, is the is all metal, so the weight is heavier than probably a lot of a lot of guns out there. Um, but I bet if you if you if you don't want all the extras on there and you just want the um, you just want the magazine uh, or the, the the gun with the RMR and the light or the the base plate. That is, it still has some weight to it. 
Um, it, it's great though. It's very accurate. It's snappy uh, from the couple shooting um, in the back. A couple, you know, minutes of shooting in the backyard. This sucker will hit your target every single time. The grouping was very, very small. Um, so I will do a full video of my thoughts and I will post that and I will let you guys know how I, how I feel about this. So that was a full unboxing with magazine compatibility as well. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a little bit longer than I wanted to make the video, but um, I just wanted to give you guys all the information that I had. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.